All right. Hey, I was looking at the Polygon chart here, and it really is a sight to behold because of all cryptocurrencies uh, on the weekly chart. Notice I'm paying attention to the weekly here. Uh, this is a cryptocurrency that the, the levels tell us the story with this crypto. And so as far as making trades, I'm trying to put it together some kind of trading strategy, not only for entering longs, but for taking profits. And I'm just, I'm seeing a lot of confluence at a lot of different levels. And so it's, it's one of these things, it's just, it's a simple, let's follow the rules that Polygon is giving us. I mean, you can see this, I mean, this bottom line here, the bear market bottom, the weekly close at least, it shouldn't be a surprise that, you know, as we were entering into 2021 and we were seeing Polygon start to, to rise from, I was gonna say the ashes, it, certainly wasn't the ashes, just to start, come to life, I should say. Um, There's a lot of resistance right here at this bear market bottom, what ended up being the bear market bottom level, a level that I wish that I loaded up on it. You know, this is a cryptocurrency that has been on my radar as something that I wanted to add a great deal of to my portfolio. And, and as I'm looking at the price continue to climb, it's just more and more depressing for me. But that shouldn't have been a surprise in hindsight, of course, that that was the level that Polygon was going to hold. Um, and then moving higher, you could see a ton of action right at this level. And you can see a plenty of action right there on the weekly chart at least look at that perfect bounce off of the second level and of course that would be the point where we would say hey you see it at this level you load up now the interesting thing here this right here is this the weekly high the previous the the, the previous weekly high that we saw in august of 2022 we didn't really struggle much through that level i mean we did spend about a week there in january of 2023 but we broke through that quickly but then last week this blows me away. There is a ton of confluence at this third level, this fourth level here. And we slice through that like butter. Polygon is on a tear. Now, it, it can't stay like this. It, it just, you know, I mean, would you <laughs> look, looking at this right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 11 out of 12 weeks being read, would you have thought that Polygon was ever going to go up? But then we're in this position here where one, two, three, four, five, six, seven straight green weeks, it just feels like it's going to go up forever. And no, it won't. But the fact that we went through this level, given how many weeks we've interacted with it, is really mind blowing to me. And it just makes me think, especially given where we are in the crypto market, that we are in the middle, in, in my opinion, of a bear market rally, that Polygon does have a lot more to go. But I, I do think short term, just for a little bit, we might need to cool off. But you never know, because I believe the, the week that I'm making this video, I believe that Bitcoin is going to break through that key 25.2K level. And so maybe Polygon will go along with it. But if that happens, I do think that, poly, that the on the Polygon Bitcoin chart, that what we're going to see is Bitcoin start outperforming Polygon. But um, as far as new entries are concerned, I looking at this, considering how easily it was easy, it was for Polygon to break through this fourth level here. I'm going to set a bid at about a dollar and 33 cents, hoping to enter along if it gets anywhere near there, it's going to bounce really hard off that level. I'm already in along, I'm not planning on exiting it. But I would just be absolutely delighted if Polygon got back down to $1.33. And then I'm, I have two take profit points set for short term trades, at least. This is one I'm going to continue to add, continue to add to my portfolio. Short term, this level right here, um, the $1.67, that is my take profit level number one. And then my second level, considering we're on a weekly chart, just drawing a fib from the peak to the bear market bottom. Let me pull out this fib here. What I'm looking at, what I'm eyeing is this 702 retracement. So that's a $2.00 and 15, about $2.15 polygon. Now we may struggle around the 6.8 or the 6.6, anywhere in the golden pocket, but um, a pretty hard close at $2.16. But with that being said, ah oh man, I may eat these words. Um, this is a cryptocurrency that in 2023, I, I wouldn't be shocked if Polygon put in a new all-time high. 
I mean, what we are seeing with Polygon, with their partnerships, I mean, with Disney of all places, but other things going on as well with ETH 2.0 launching. I know a lot of people were asking me, is that going to be bearish for Polygon? I was like, no way. ETH needs Polygon more than Polygon needs ETH. With Polygon kind of building their own infrastructure, yeah, it's built on ETH, but Polygon doesn't need ETH. Okay, ETH needs Polygon. That there's so much, so much room to the upside with this cryptocurrency. I would say 95% sure chance that it's going to put in a new all time high during the next euphoria phase. But I think we're, I do think we're kind of far off from that. So just short term, this level right here, this upper level of the, in the charts that I've drawn, and then the 702, I'm going to pretty aggressively exit just for the short term with the hopes of reloading back at this level or at the 0.5, somewhere around there. So reloading at a dollar sixty something with, with Polygon. But I don't see any reason to be bearish medium term. Um, I do see some reason stochastic is cooling off a little bit, not a ton. Uh, MACD just looks really solid, but I wouldn't be surprised if on the histogram we started putting in a couple light green candles on the weekly chart. That's what I have my radar on. I mean, this thing is scorching hot. It can't go up forever. I wouldn't be surprised if this week or next week, one of the next two weeks was a red candle on the weekly. But man, this this cryptocurrency looks so strong and I'm excited to be holding it. I wish I bought more, but I think, you know, everyone is kind of in that position right now. Um, and, and it's one of those things, it's like, it shouldn't be too surprising that it is a, at a 5x almost from its bear market bottom. But I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Where do you think we are going with Polygon? Do you think we're going much? Or do you think we're going to put in a new all-time high this year? I'd love to know that. Um, and if you like this content, would greatly appreciate a follow and smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel, all of that. And otherwise, I will see you in another video. Peace.